My experience with the academy started when I was quite young, actually, when I was still at school. I used to come and visit the orchestral masterclasses which Colin Davis gave, and that was an, an extraordinary experience for me, coming to the Duke's Hall for the first time and witnessing that. And from there, I really wanted to study conducting here, so I had three wonderfully, um, well, wonderfully educative years um, studying here, and um, I've been back conducting the orchestra since. I often come into the Academy to conduct the Free on Fridays concerts, the lunchtime concerts on Friday. And I think what's memorable for me is the amount of improvement of an orchestra that we can get over such a short period of time. It's literally two rehearsals a day before and then on the day. But the students are all so well prepared and so able that, that really the, uh, the escalation of talent with the orchestra all together is, is amazing. I think when I look back at my time at the Academy, the thing that I really relish is the range of music making and the range of uh, artistic pursuits you can be interested in while you're in London. And I, what I would say to anyone studying is, is keep your, your sphere of influence, your sphere of knowledge as wide as possible and go to galleries, go, go to concerts, go to operas, just experience everything you possibly can because it's that breadth which turns people into great musicians. The Academy is my favourite place of study and what I notice is year by year, A, how well the students are looked after, but also how, how more and more able students get year after year. And I think all education institutions have such a high profile these days, but the Academy especially seems to engender this, uh, this spirit of excellence and it's, it's great to come back, it's always a really warm place.